Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So it is now September, the corn is looking very nice indeed, but it's not ready to harvest. I think it will be ready to harvest in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. We are going to be doing the grape harvest today though. I believe they are ready. Thank you chickens. Lots of delicious eggs there with loads of money. And yeah, everything else just seems to be ticking over. So uh, yeah, let's just see if these grapes are ready, I believe that they are. Yep, they do seem to be. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, you just feel like picking one off and eating it. Okay, so uh, the harvester is here in position, ready to go. This is going to be my first larger scale grape harvest. Yes, being very careful to use the word larger and not large. I would love it to be large. I'd take over at least this whole field, but yeah, it's going to come down to how much money we can actually make from them. So let me just align this properly. Yep, it's in the right position. So we'll start it up. There we go. And we'll shake the grapes off the vines. And I don't think I'll ever get bored of seeing the animation of the, uh, the grape plant being shaken. Even the stem gets shaken. Okay, so into first person view, pick up the speed. Yeah, I do wish that camera worked. The screen, I should say. The screen with the camera. I would love to see that view. And it would make it so much easier to see the grapes being fed in. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I can't believe it isn't. Why is that? Why doesn't that screen function? That would have been so amazing, the view, the top-down view, uh, watching the vine being fed into it. Well, not really being fed in. Yeah, just seeing the harvester go over it. There we go. Uh, so, first row, 20%, 629 litres. Now, you may ask the question, what are we going to do with these? Do we sell them as grapes, or do we try and get a production building and make raisins? I'm a little bit off to the side there. That's better. Yeah, I need to try and align something. I think maybe uh, sort of keep it in line with the orange joystick. Roughly. Seems to be good. Yeah, so we can buy the existing grape production plant, which I think is going to be the best idea because then it doesn't take up space. It's the same price, but the difference is if we were to build it ourselves, it would be on our own land. And yeah, it would take up our farming land. So then we'd have less crops. So that wouldn't be a very good idea. Yeah, I need to approach from the correct angle. Okay, right. So um, I think we have enough here to justify doing a time lapse. And we might even have to empty. We might become full before we finish. If we do, it can just go into the grape trailer. It's going to go into the grape trailer anyway, because <laughs> that's how we transport it. Um, yes, I need to keep an eye on where I am, keep this thing straight. I'm just so pleased that we actually have more than just a very small vineyard, like a tiny weeny thing we had the first time, and now we have a half decent size one. Right, 60% full after doing three, so yeah, it's not all going to fit. We're actually going to have to empty into the trailer. This shows that it is yielding quite well. Although, yes, it should do, because it is fully fertilised, it's been cultivated, it's been mulched, so this really is as good as it gets. Ninety-five percent. Should just about get to the end of here. It's going to be close. Doesn't matter if we don't. Okay, so we do have a little bit there to uh, finish off. I'm going to bring the trailer over here. Probably use the Landini tractor. 
Just a brilliant tractor. Yeah, and that tanker needs to be replaced. We do need to get a much bigger water tanker. I don't want to spend ages shuttling water around. So if we can just... Well, I'd love to get the biggest one, but the thing is we'd need to have a dolly as well. Or a lorry, but we definitely can't afford a lorry. Unless we were to have a miracle in the used machinery. Actually, I haven't checked the used machinery cells today. We should take a look. Yeah, very quickly before we head off. We have... Oh, look, that's our tractor. Uh, yeah, nothing... That would be pretty amazing. Requires 360 horsepower. Yeah, nothing that we can actually run. Or need. So, yes. Uh, not a day for us. But we have been very lucky recently. We've done well. I should actually have a tractor with a cultivator or a plough doing this field here. Preparing it ready for drilling. We'll put a winter crop in. Most likely. Although we may well expand the vineyard. But I really want to get onto olives as well. That is the real issue. I really wish as well that we could uh, use the same harvester for olives and grapes. But of course that would be unrealistic because it's not the same harvester. It's just, it would be fun because <laughs> we wouldn't have to try and afford another £300,000 machine. Which I guess is why the collectibles are worth doing. Regarding the collectibles, I did actually say a few episodes back, should we find them? Or should we just leave them? Because it, it might be considered as... Uh, Quite a well, not it's not cheating because it's part of the game, but it's certainly an advantage. And the response I got back really was, yeah, find them. But I think what I'm going to do is not just go hunting for them. If, for example, I'm in a certain area, and then somebody leaves a comment saying you were so close to one, then I will go back to that area and try and find it. But yeah, I'm not just going to go off one day and say, I know, let's go and find a collectible in that sort of area um, because yeah we, we want to be focusing on the farm work finding a collectible is probably going to be considered like winning the lottery so uh, yes there are plenty of opportunities to win but we just have to be in the right place and of course I need to be able to find it just one vine left you can see all the stalks and leaves being thrown off the back So yeah, it does seem to be about 650 litres per vine. I'm not too sure what the current price is, but I am really, really keen to do raisins and grape juice instead of just selling grapes, because I don't think that would ever be profitable. If you had a big enough vineyard, it would be. But I think for our vineyard, we would never make a profit. That's been good. It's going to be another year though before we can harvest it again. Hopefully next year this is going to be much bigger. £2,322 for a thousand litres. So not great, not terrible. Um, certainly not worth it. This has cost a fortune to grow this vineyard. Not to mention all the machinery. Okay, right, well there we go. It's another 1,305 litres. Tip this into here. I'm not too sure if it's all going to fit. promising yes so we have pretty much got a full tray load so yeah if we were to do productions we would get first of all raisins so let's just find the raisins 3,283 pounds and it can also be used as an ingredient in another production like the cereal then we'd have the grape juice which as you can see is very good wow 4,690 and it looks like it can go much higher so that is the way to go about things. My trees are flickering. Hopefully when I rest, that will stop everything. Because I think the problem is we're sort of in a transition phase between summer and autumn. But yeah, they shouldn't. They really shouldn't flicker. 
So hopefully that gets fixed fairly soon. Okay, so what did we get? 73%. 4,405 litres. So if we were to buy a production building, we'd need to take out a loan or find a collectible. Now, as I have absolutely no idea where another collectible is, I think we're going to have to take out a loan. But like I said, if we're ever near one, please do let me know, because then I can go back to that place and try and find it. I don't think there's one anywhere near the yard, as far as I'm aware, because nobody's ever mentioned anything. I've never seen anything. They do tend to be hidden away in like the built-up areas. Anyway, let's go to this place. The Grape Processing Unit. So, we, I think we can sell them here. But I would like to be able to process them. £80,000. So we need another £40,000 loan. Luckily we don't have one currently, so... 45, maybe go to 50. Might be useful. So yeah, let's buy our very first production building. I am amazed, but we couldn't have done it without the loan or the collectible. So that has been great. We now own sweet and sour raisins. Our new premises. Just looked at the map and we don't actually own the piece of land that it's on. We just own the building. Which is fine, because I don't want to do anything with the land anyway. But that comes with fill number 8. As you can see, it's all highlighted. So, let's go and get those raisins, and we'll start processing them. This is going to be interesting. I think I know how to get there. Yeah. It's just as if we were going to the observatory. And here we are. So this is actually a sell point. So I don't want to accidentally sell them, I want to process them. That must be where the products are spawned. I know there is the tip trigger, just making sure it's the right one. Well, maybe it's a sell point unless you own it, I don't know. I'll try it in a second. Okay. Let's just try it. Save the game. And we shall tip. See if the money goes up. Okay, so that's good. That is correct. So we currently have them set to storing. Uh, yep. As you can see, they're in here. So, 90 grapes make 90 raisins, I think. And, uh, yeah, you can see it's already processing. 2 litres of raisins, 2 litres of grape juice. So the grape juice is just a byproduct of making the raisins. Well, this seems good. Cost per hour, £2. Seems to be working very quickly. So we'll leave it to it. Grapes must go in here, and then things happen. Let's get the juice removed, and then they start dehydrating them or something. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, fascinating anyway. Uh, but the time to times five, I think. And we'll return here when the process has been completed. Right, let's get back to the farm. Uh, like I said, we do need to start cultivating the wheat field. We're home. And yeah, this can be packed up for another year. Yep, so um, we'll return to the grapes in a few months' time. We'll do the cultivations, mulching, pruning, and spraying. Now, 
do we plow or do we cultivate? And a drill is a power harrow as well, so we could just say we've got very light soil. Let's just plow it again. I have nothing against plowing it. This tractor seems to do it very well. So that's what we'll do. If we do find that it's going to be a good idea to expand the vineyard, we'll just have to plant over a small section of it. I didn't put this in a good spot. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's not the cultivation category anyway. I do need to start tidying up this yard. It's a bit of a mess. Right, so yes, we're not going to be creating new fields, so just set it off on a worker. We should have no issues at all. Very good. Overall, the sheep are happy. They could just do with a bit more water. The chickens are fine. So, what I'm going to do is try and find a good contract so that we can afford to buy a bigger tanker. Okay, so there's no fertilising contract. It's the wrong time of the year. So, I think... We could do that, because we could use our own machinery. Uh, mow the grass in field number 7. Bale the grass and wrap it to make silage but Ah, oh, okay, so we don't have a wrapper. That is annoying, because I have everything else. Oh, hang on, though. Use your own equipment or release equipment for a reward reduced by just £82. We might as well use their machinery, then. Probably costs us more than £82 in fuel. Right. Field 7. And we do get a bonus as well from selling the excess silage. Field number seven is just there. Smaller than field number two that we did. I think this is the same equipment that we used before. Oh, we even get a front mower too. Very nice. One thing I won't be doing though is using that bale lifter. The three point bale lifter. I can't use those things. I've just used my tractor and front loader. Right then, so I will see you over at fill number 7. We're in a voucher tractor. I will try and cut as much as possible outside of the field boundaries because then we can also wrap that and that's bonus uh, silage that we can sell. It's worth doing. So. First things first, let's see if we can do it here. Clearly the dark grass is where we're supposed to be. Okay, so that is not allowed. But we can go about here. So it's a bit of extra. Once I've cut the majority, I then go around the outside and try and cut a bit more. It's hard to see exactly where the field boundary is. I didn't take note of which bale they've given us, but hopefully it's one which can do big bales. Like 9,000 litres in a bale. Although actually, yeah, 9,000 litres. Unlikely for the wrapped bales. But if it's at least 5,000, that would be very good. Right. So that's out of bounds. Somewhere there. Well, that's not too tricky. Okay, so let's get this cut, and I'm going to go back. We're going to get the windrow. Then we'll have to go back again to get the baler. And after the baling, we'll have to go back again to get the wrapper. At that stage, I will probably leave all that stuff here, because I can go back, well, I can tab back to my farm to get the trailer and the front loader tractor. And then we can complete the contract by moving the bales and taking them to the allocated sell point, which is the same place as before. I think it's the livestock markets. Which makes sense.
back of the field, I've just done the headland. Now I'm going to go up and down. And I don't know if you saw my FS08 versus FS22 comparison. It was a graphics comparison, not a feature comparison, uh, because clearly FS22 has way more features. Um, but there was one thing about FS08 which I really liked, which 22 doesn't have, and it was the sort of scenario missions. This obviously has contracts, which is nice, I like that, but there was a scenario. For example, there was the one in the storm. You had to get in, I don't know how much it was, I think it might have said six acres or so, six acres of wheat before the storm arrives. You could see the storm in the sky. The, the sky looked very, very menacing. And yeah, it was a race against time. So I think if FS had like a story mode, as well as this mode, clearly, because this is just so nice being able to do whatever you want. But if it did have a story mode, kind of like survival roleplay, it would just be unbelievable. It would be so good. But yeah, as I said, you would never want to get rid of this as well. It would have to be an option. Because there are many, many people who just want to sit down and drive a tractor around. Fair enough. It is good fun. Having a story mode as well would be amazing. Okay, so I've almost finished. We're going to go back over to the uh, dealership in a second. We'll get the baler. Then we'll get the wrapper. This actually is the same windrow that I have. It looks like we've probably done quite well. Seems to be a fair amount of grass in each swath. And I don't know the exact percentage that it actually wants, but it probably leaves us with about 20% to keep for ourselves. So, very generous. We can take advantage of these. There we go. Fold it up, and we'll take it back. Right, so we have the VB3190 Progressive density, which is actually the same one we used before, but we didn't have to wrap, so I do need to know what sizes to make these bales, because uh, I know that we can adjust it, so what is this? This is the the Cavernland 7850. Oh, look what's just come up in the used machinery. Wow. If only we could afford that. One day. <laughs> one day we will do. So yeah, we need to go into bale wrappers. Uh, this one here. 125 to 150. So if I get the size wrong, I take it I wouldn't be able to actually finish the contract. So we'll do 150. We're currently set to 125. But we can go up to 180. So yeah, 150 it is. How many bells do we think? I'm going to say five. I, I think five. Not too sure how many litres we can fit into each bale. Ah yes, and I mustn't make that mistake again. The final bale, if it looks like we're not going to be able to finish the bale, we need to reduce the capacity. Otherwise we are just throwing away several thousand litres of grass. Yep, and I said at least 5,000 litres, and this is five and a half. Perfect. Very, very good. So it looks like that little piece there didn't pick up with the windrow. Those are escaping. Okay, so yeah, we just have 
two more left to do and it turned out very well I did manage to get another full 150 centimeter bale but as usual there was a piece which was left in the baler which there was nothing I could do about it I really did do the best I could this time last time I could have done better it was impossible to keep what was left in the baler but it wasn't too much always satisfying watching the bale wrapper Okay, the final bale. I'll make sure I haven't missed any. Very good. Yeah, so do we see any more bales which are lurking? Which have rolled away from us? I don't think so. So what I'll do now is go and get my tractor and trailer, instead of using the least ones, and we'll go and take them over to the sell point. And this time we really are going to sell the excess. We're not going to be keeping any. We don't need silage bells. One day we might do. Ah, oh, what am I doing? I could just use this. It's funny how whenever I have the more sophisticated equipment, I always forget about it. I always go immediately for the basic stuff. Anyway, yeah, it, it can pick up that size. It doesn't say anything about not being able to do wrapped bells. So hopefully, hopefully it can do. This is good news. Now I've been thinking about our corn crop and I think it's actually going to be done as silage. Hopefully we do have the money to be able to rent a forager. But I did have a comment from a very nice viewer a few days ago saying it's worth so much more to do as silage, as, as maize. So, um, well maize silage. So that's what we're going to do, hopefully. The reason why I planted it in the first place was so I could harvest it with a combine so that we could start to make cereal. But now I've spent the money on the great processing factory, I don't think we're going to be making cereal before another crop of corn could grow again. So we'll just probably do corn again in the other field. Which means we're not drilling it until next year. Yeah, speaking of the plough, how's it getting on? Oh, crikey, it's taking the whole field in. Uh, well, that's not too much of an issue. It was a bit of an annoying strip of grass anyway, so good thinking, worker. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw one of these. Look at that. I actually have found a collectible without even trying. I was just taking a shortcut. I went wrong. I was going to go that way. So I came up here, which I probably shouldn't have done. And I go and find this. This genuinely was totally by accident. I was not looking for it. So if we collect this, we get £50,000, which means I can repay my loan. If we find that I do collect too many, uh, it's unlikely, this is my second one in 20 episode, 21 episodes. Um, yes, but if, if we do find that I find too many, I'll do a vote saying, shall we continue finding them or should we just leave them? So there we go, I have got a £50,000 reward for finding it. Totally by accident. So let's get rid of that immediately with the loan. Uh, we'll repay the loan. So we're back to £11,000 again. Uh, but maybe that's going to be enough to be able to rent the forager, hopefully. That is a sign, finding that. I can't believe that. Obviously, I knew about the one at the observatory because somebody said that I was so close. But that one, I had no idea. So we could just stumble across another one at any point. We could just see another one in a few minutes' time. It's unlikely, but we could. And that would be £100,000. <laughs> yeah, it's wishful thinking. Okay, right, so let's continue loading these. The game cartridge can be put into our computer as well. So there we go, six bales. Hopefully they have fermented. I don't know how it works for a contract, because if we did this on our own farm, uh, the moment we've wrapped them it would still be grass. It takes time to ferment. Hopefully we get paid for silage and not just wrapped grass. We must also take a look at the grape factory. 
before I finish today. See how it's getting on. Yes, this is a different route. I don't normally go this way. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. But we are going to the livestock market, which I have been to many times before. It's just we have uh, approached it from a different direction. Oh yes, and hopefully this contract is complete, because the one yesterday didn't. But there does seem to be a little issue with the harvesting contracts. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay then, so, back into here. Are we ready? I'm going to guess at an extra £2,000. Whoa! <laughs> 9,171, which, as suspected, was more than what the contract was worth. So, we've done so well there. We have £23,000. That should certainly be enough to fund the forager tomorrow. That's just worked out perfectly. Uh, the idea behind doing that was to get the water tanker. But obviously, yes, we already have a water tanker. We don't have a forager, so... That's going to take priority, but I really hope we can get a new water tanker very soon. We do need a bigger one. I was just looking at the mini-map and I noticed that we have two icons of combine harvesters. I thought, what? Why do we have two? And then I realised one of them must be the grape harvester. I thought I'd won a combine. Ah. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> so let's just put this back in the shed. Uh, then we'll go over to the grape factory. I think winning £50,000 in one day is good enough in itself. I've never done that before. Not even close. There we go. So that's finished. Um, yep. Let's just tab over there. The grape factory is this one here. And there we go. We do have our first pallet of something 12 times 1 litre so that must be the grape juice yeah or juice grape separate cartons <laughs> uh, yeah grape juice so um, that is all very good anyway we still have 3,000 litres of grapes to process this is going to be interesting I can't wait to see if it's worth more like this or if we were just to sell the grapes when the price is good so there we go thank you so much for watching everybody Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.